What up guys, this is Kirtan Singh here, aka The Black Card, and I recently bought some brand new filming equipment. So I thought, why not start a brand new series where I talk about, discuss with you guys, shows and films that I've seen. Here I won't be analyzing or breaking down certain sequences or scenes from these movies or episodes. I'll just be talking about what I thought about it, what I liked, what I didn't like, what I hope to see in future episodes or sequels, and just my overall thoughts about the show. Now this is the first video I'm doing of course, so there will be a couple errors, I will get used to doing these type of videos, so bear with me if I ever make a mistake or if there's something I can improve on. Today, the show that I'll be talking about is 13 Reasons Why. Before I get into my discussion, I just need to let people know that it does contain a lot of gruesome and hard to watch scenes. It also tackles a lot of issues in regarding depression and mental health. So if you are suffering from any of these issues, please talk to someone that you trust, a medical professional, or visit a trusted website. I will leave a link to one in the description down below. Before I go any further, I just need to warn you guys that I will be going to spoiler territory here about season 1 of 13 Reasons Why and season 2 as well. So just yesterday I finished watching season 2 with my sister and there's a lot I can talk about but I'll be condensing it all into a, about a 5 or 10 minute discussion. First things first, I quite liked season 1 although when comparing it to other shows out there it is not a great show. On its own it can stand up but when compared to other pieces of television or I guess online streaming because it's on Netflix it is not holding up well. It does contain a pretty good cast, I'd say 90% of the cast is great and the production overall is amazing. The simple idea of going from a contrasting environment to a saturated environment to show the difference in time is very simple but done very well in this show. Now, the idea of this, based on the book obviously, is an interesting concept and although it was pretty well executed in the first place, I think it does not do justice to the idea of suicide, it does not create a realistic discussion about it per se. It's more of an unrealistic environment set in a realistic world. This is emphasized by the events of the second season where the tapes were not the beginning and there are more girls who have been exploited by the jocks of the school which is stereotypically the bad people. Now I'm not gonna go into a rant here about what I thought about how it handles the social and political issues but I will say that it is jam-packed with too many. It tries to balance all of these thinking that Talking about these issues and handling them will garner some support from the people and while that was the case for this first season, it was a highly overrated show in my opinion and it fumbles in the dark in the second season trying to balance sexism, gun control, abuse and of course depression and suicide. Now let's get into characters. Some characters were really well done and some felt quite flat. Ryan, Courtney, even Marcus were only there for their trials where they talked about it, manipulated what they told or experienced with Hannah I should say. Now characters who really carry over from the first season include Tyler, Mr. Porter, Bryce actually and Justin. All of their story arcs come close to fulfillment or open up to a whole new place and they carry over well based on the character that they were in the first season. Mr. Porter tries to right his wrongs by helping other students. Tyler struggles with the isolation he feels and although he does make a friend, in the end leads him down a path which is quite dark. Bryce handles the situation very well. He manipulates everything to spin it in his way, in his own words, and he still survives through school, obviously, until the end of the season. 
and Justin struggles with drug addiction after we've seen him in the first season with um, difficult mother to live with who has a drug abusive boyfriend and it's done very well at first I thought it was just gonna gloss over it have him be with Sherry for one night and then drink a lot of Gatorade or something and then he suddenly gets off the addiction but then it surprised me by slowly revealing that he's actually still addicted in the end we find that he still do does drugs and I was honestly shocked that they were still willing to do that now that I look back at it it shouldn't surprise me considering the whole series does like to tackle controversial or social issues I should say but it still caught me by surprise that they didn't resolve it so quickly, which is a good thing. Now, let's talk about the main character, Clay Jensen. He went from being an empathetic, sympathetic character. I did not feel empathy for him, but sympathy for him in the first season. And then he becomes this unlikable character in the second season. With the way he interacts with Sky, which I don't really like. And the way he just interacts with other people who told the truth or manipulated the truth. Or when they were on trial, he himself did not help Hannah that much, yet he blames other people for it. In the end, we see him let go of Hannah, move on, and we see the lead on into the third season. Overall, the first season and the second season combined together would, give, would get a 5.5 .5 out of 10 for me. Because while the production and acting is great, the story itself has fallen quite flat. And while they do have more that they can explore with the third season hopefully they'll narrow it down instead of trying to dra juggle sorry so many controversial issues or social issues they will just narrow it down to one or two which they can really dissect and explore now that that's done make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section down below on what you thought about this video all 13 reasons why season one and two itself did you agree or disagree with me make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this more music related content and film related content. Make sure you also check out my Patreon account in the description down below as well as my other social media accounts. They'll be somewhere on the screen right now and check out the other videos that I have posted on screen. Before I end this video, I just want to reiterate, if you are suffering from any sort of medical issues or need help, make sure you seek help from a, someone you trust or a medical professional. Also remember there's a link in the description down below to a trusted website.